everybody. All right, what we're going to look at uh, on this next task is someone who has suffered a C6 spinal cord injury, uh, the task of being able to go from the mat to the chair. So we're going to look at a, a transfer. In a transfer, as you're working with patients who have suffered a C6 injury, you want to make sure there's a couple strategies you use to help with the transfer. The one thing you always want to make sure is that your leg is directly under you, both legs. Now you can say, well, you don't have movement, but you want to use the legs directly under you as a pivot point for the transfer. You don't want them to be too far out. If they're too far out, that makes it a lot harder to do the transfer because now you try to have to try to get your center of mass over your base of support, which is too far out in front of you. The other mistake you want to make is people bring their legs too far under. That's the quickest way to get to the floor if your legs are too far under um, and the person's at risk of uh, falling to the floor. So you always want to make sure that they're keeping their legs directly under them. It acts as a nice pivot point for the transfer. As you can see, my hands are in front of my hips. We don't want them back here. Another quick way to get to the floor. So our hands are in front of our hip. I'm externally rotated because someone who has suffered C6 does not have triceps, so I want to substitute. But you've heard that before, that word substitution for not having triceps. If we externally, ro externally rotate at the shoulder, we can lock out at the elbows, and that helps with our transfer. A couple other strategies we want to use on the transfer. One is just that passive tension that I think you'll remember from the rolling video. And that is you just want to kind of drop your head down to pick up some of the slack in the back. That can help lift the buttocks up off of the mat. So along with dropping the head, then we want to kind of lean forward to help with de-weighting at the buttocks. As we do that, so we have that passive tension, dropping the head, coming onto our legs, which are acting as a place of weight bearing and a pivot point, and we want to de-weight. As we start to do that, we want to use our scapular depressors to help press up. And then as we do that, we drop the head, we're going to come forward to de-weight, then we're going to use that head-hip relationship. So here we go. The break on this chair is not great, but that's sometimes reality. So we're just going to drop the head, kind of de-weight, that head-hip relationship to help get us into the chair. I could be here if I want. I can try to come back here just to help stabilize to get into the chair. We want to stay stable here if we can. Use our biceps, our wrist extensors to help bring the leg up. Stabilize here. I can stabilize here a little bit on the mat. We just come up and then, and then position ourselves to go to OT where we probably already have them late for their session. <laughs>